In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the concept of large capital ships in games. It's something that can be very tricky to get right, and over the years a lot of misfires have been made. No Man's Sky, however, has certainly just scored a hit. The game very recently received yet another huge update, is the title's 20th expansion, this time adding significantly to freighters. Freighters, of course, are the game's player-owned capital ships. The update is called Endurance, and freighters are the body of your fleet, the central focus. These huge vessels can serve as a hub for all your undertakings within the No Man's Sky galaxy. The Endurance expansion then not only adds to this concept, but radically enhances it. I'll discuss those enhancements in just a moment. First though, I want to talk a little bit about the notion of capital ships themselves. Now, when I think of huge, functional spaceships from sci-fi, well, only a few come to mind. Now, the important word there is functional. After all, a large ship that doesn't really do anything, doesn't really serve any purpose. But large vessels that do serve a purpose, however, can be both iconic and memorable. For me, one ship specifically comes to mind from sci-fi. That is the Battlestar Galactica. Both the original versions, as well as the 2003 version, fit perfectly into that bill. Now they serve as a hub and a home, a central focus for the fleet, a location that offers almost everything needed to survive the depths of space. Now when you really think on it, each of those things makes for a really compelling focal point for gameplay. You can see a few checkpoints on the screen right there. Now, when thinking about capital ships in video games then, these are great starting points that potentially offer a lot of gameplay. Of course, numerous games over the years have had vessels, huge significant ones, yet few tick all of these bullet points. No Man's Sky Endurance, however, does tick all of these bullet points and also ticks quite a few more additional ones as well. The update brings a massive overhaul to how players can use and interact with their freighters. All of this is packaged up very nicely with some visual improvements. You'll notice these visual improvements the moment that you exit your ship and step onto the uh, freighter's hangar bay. There's a number of graphical improvements here that add immensely to the atmosphere of these locations, and these visual treats extend all the way up to the bridge as well. Additionally, the bridge has a new and improved layout, with easily accessible corridors that take you to your hangar bay, and there's also now a table to here that will do exactly the same job, just to save you a little bit of walking there. Meanwhile, another corridor leads to the customizable areas of the freighter. Here, you can add all the new modules that Endurance delivers. Specifically, these are split into three distinct categories. The first category is freighter technology, which can be used to install operational functions. Second is agricultural modules. These are used to grow plants and thus deliver a number of resources that the player will need over time. Third, we have the industrial modules. These offer processing as well as extraction options. There's also access here for weapons and vehicle enhancements. Now, as you can see, the Endurance update puts everything a player needs right at hand. It turns the player freighters into a mobile base that can deliver a significant portion of what is needed to survive and explore. Additionally, your players can now teleport directly to the freighter from anywhere in the game. This has been a long requested feature, so nice to see it finally in there. Now okay, on the face of things, it really doesn't seem that these changes bring anything new to the game. They don't even really enhance any existing features. What they do, however, is bring a long list of extensive features directly into the player's fleet. This is an important step, and perhaps one that is all too easy to underestimate. The truth is that the gameplay value this places upon the freighters is immense. It simultaneously expands the scope of the game world, whilst also giving players the equivalent of their very own Battlestar Galactica. It's no small feat, and a very nice achievement indeed. It also means that players can now more comfortably travel the entire galaxy from within their very own fleet, whilst having immediate access to all the technology they could need. Meanwhile, all of this is the core focus of the next expedition for No Man's Sky. The upcoming event is called Polestar, and will likely be split into a number of phases if it follows the previous expeditions. 
The freighters will be the main focus of this expedition, as players will be required to use them to move from star system to star system. The personal starship will have no capability of doing that during the expedition. Planetary base building will also not work for this event, meaning that players will need to increasingly rely upon their freighter and their fleet. So it sounds like very very nice there, I'm looking forward to trying that one out. And yet again, awesome work from Hello Games, they just keep whacking these ones out, they keep delivering some amazing content there, really good developers overall. So that brings us to an end of this video, do let me know your thoughts and feelings on all of this in the comments section below. What are you enjoying about No Man's Sky Endurance, or have you not even tried it yet? And if not, are you planning on trying out over the coming days? I'd love to hear from you, do let me know in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.